Borderlands is known for having a wide range of creative character designs. The art style and tone of the game lends itself to all sorts of combinations, from very short and stout, to tall and slender, to monstrous and gangly. Something I noticed after only a few hours into the game is there is an overabundance of characters that are absolutely shredded. Some of them look like they're carved out of marble and working out in between loading screens. This completely normal observation has led to our first ever top 10 list. Today I present the top 10 abs in Borderlands 3. Starting off at number 10 we have objectively the best Vault Hunter in the game, Moe's. Sadly, her basic character model doesn't really let you know what you're in for. She looks trim and healthy, as a grizzled soldier would be, but it took until the second season pass was released for us to really see how shredded she was. With the addition of her stain of iron skin, we got to see her abs in all their glory, and the world was made a little bit better for it. Next we have a character that was introduced in the Guns, Love, and Tentacles DLC. And besides teaching us what it is to slash, he also blessed us with an amazing display of manly midriff. In at number 9 we have the slash master himself, Aista. I feel the cell shading art style does take away from its glory a little bit, but we can all agree this guy probably hasn't ever enjoyed a churro shake. The fastest vault hunter with the best one-liners in the game is up next. The number 8 spot has gotta go to our man Zane. Not only does he have some wonderful washboard abs, if you use his clone action skill you get to see them twice. What a bonus. Here he is in the Bane Flint skin from Director's Cut DLC and we can clearly see most of his time is spent between bounty hunting and doing sit-ups. Although arguably one of the most annoying characters, one thing that can't be denied is that our 7th place specimen is definitely ripped. Sure, Vaughn was annoying and failed at being funny, but definitely didn't disappoint in the abs department. He even lets us in on his mindset as an ab aficionado from some of his dialogue. And there's a mission on Carnivora where he has to choose who has the sexiest, most sculptedest abs in the galaxy between him and Kilovolt. He even killed a man with just his abs to become leader of his clan and tell Tyree to worship at the altar of his abs. With all that trash talk, you'd think he'd have done better than 7th place. Sixth place goes to another Vault Hunter and one that doesn't shy away from showing off her powers or her physique, Amara. She doesn't need some special DLC or skin pack to let you know she's ripped. Even her normal character model will let everyone know she doesn't skimp when it comes to her P90X routine. Amara is well known for her siren powers, but what most don't know is she gets them from her abs. The tattoos are just to distract you from their magnificence. Number 5 is everyone's favorite slab of meat that punches all his problems into submission. Brick. The only reason he's at number 5 is mainly because we don't get to see his abs without a shirt that is four sizes too small blocking our view of their greatness. We can easily tell that even his shirt is in pain, so it's probably best the player can't see them in their full glory anyway, so as to not distract us from our goal of removing the COV from existence and getting to all that sweet, sweet loot. Shredding his way into the number 4 spot, we have the game's first boss, Shiv. Besides being easy to defeat and having horrible drops, he is memorable for having a 12 pack that seems to reach out of the frickin' sky. Pay no mind to his dangly arm or otherwise mangled physique. This psycho has some chiseled abs that most likely due to all the effort needed for his melee attacks and swinging that gigantic blade around. Now we made it to the top 3. And this is when the real challenge of picking a winner notches up a bit. After some deliberation and intent image searches and comparisons for science, Troy makes the list at number 3. Tall and slender with no shame or self-awareness, he shares his amazing 8-pack with all who are lucky enough to gaze upon it. If he didn't have a robotic arm that was twice as big as it should be, we might not have been able to keep our focus away from their perfection. The tattoos only highlight their beauty and are a great accent to his most redeeming feature. The number two honor has got to be given to every psycho in this game. Yes, nearly every one of them was a shining example of what fighting for survival and a lifetime of skag stakes can do to a body given enough time and lack of initiative. The psychos are mostly nameless so it's hard to place them well in the top 10, but the sheer quantity of rock solid abs added to the game can't go unnoticed and definitely deserves some recognition. Finally, in at the number one spot, and honestly this character is what sparked the idea for the top 10 list to begin with. We have a much loved character in the franchise, and the focus of his own DLC. Krieg definitely has the best abs in BL3. 
Not only does he have the best set of abs in the game, but we get to see not one, but two life-size versions of them in the Fuster Cluck DLC. He may be conflicted with his own sanity, but those abs are too crazy for us mere mortals to handle. Not only do we get a pair of these washboard stomachs, but we are also treated with a larger than life display to show off their otherworldly wonder right as we start the DLC too. It's almost too much to handle, but somehow we persevere and find a way to finish my favorite DLC and are rewarded with a very happy ending, even if we have one less set of abs to gawk at afterwards. So yeah, that's my list of top 10 abs in Borderlands 3 and its DLCs. Hope you enjoyed this objectively accurate accounting of the most shredded characters in Borderlands 3. Please let me know what you think of my rating and any awesome abs I may have missed. Thank you all for watching, be well and happy farming.